Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here. We'll still talk about this cold weather for a good bit longer. It's going to be freezing again tonight. Well, it will. And here's our concern, that potential for a wintry mix. And now the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi, has issued a winter weather advisory. Goes into effect at 4 in the morning until 10. And that's really what my forecast model was showing, that potential for some icing, possibly on roadways, and some sleet. Sleet is a frozen raindrop. So here is a look at what's happening right now. We've got 29 in Macomb, 32 in Baton Rouge. But those are really the only areas that we're seeing some freezing temperatures. Going into the morning, low temperatures, upper 20s north shore to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, generally upper 20s to the low 30s on the south shore. So nowhere near where we were this morning. I mean, it was pipe bursting weather. We had record low temperature in Gulfport down to 19. Macomb, a record low temperature of 15. Tide records at Slidell and also over to Baton Rouge where they dropped to 20 degrees. Even on the south shore, we were in the mid-20s, had some real issues. Poor Colin Landry over there at Hammond. The pipe burst. It was just under the dirt, but not insulated enough, and so they've got that major problem that they're dealing with. This from Scott Pelier. I love it. Look, here's the hose. Overnight, he let it drip, and it formed this, which is pretty incredible. The drips just kept on freezing and built up, which I think is kind of cool. And then tonight is a night where you need to protect your pets. This from Margaret Early. That's Binks, my favorite cat. I just love that cat. High temperature today, 36. We just hit 36 degrees. And until now, we had tied the previous record low high temperature for the day. And then, of course, it was plenty cold this morning. Temperatures right now are running in the mid to the upper 30s. Over towards Baton Rouge, the high temperature was 38 degrees, 37 the high at Gulfport, 37 as well. Over towards Audubon, now we're 36 at the airport. So we've gone up a little bit, and it's because of the cloud deck across the area. So now it's freezing at Baton Rouge, 37 at Bogalusa, 38 at Bell Chase. And the reason the temperatures haven't changed, we've got that cloud deck, and we've also got more of an east flow, so that's sending moisture in. As the temperatures drop overnight, the potential that we could have some frost in the morning. Wind chill, not so much of an issue because the winds are not that strong. But overnight, I'm basically seeing low 30s, and in the morning, a few locations will be dropping into the upper 20s. That lighter purple you're seeing to the north, that's the winter weather advisory that's posted. High temperatures tomorrow, low to the mid 40s. We've got about a 40% chance of rain. So as we look at what's happening, what we have is an east flow now. Here's the cold front that's going to push through tomorrow, and this upper level low is just pumping the moisture to the north. Already getting some rain over here towards Houston. Look at how it's spreading to the east right along I-10. So as we look at our forecast model, we're seeing that precipitation develop. Look at that. The pink where you could have freezing rain, that's when the rain falls, hits the surface and freezes. If it's on roadways or bridges or overpasses, it can really be a slippery, sliding mess. You could also have ice pellets there or sleet. Here we are, 9 o'clock. It's still southwest Mississippi. And then it's pretty much diminishing. But the rain will continue across the area. The cold front moves through. Highs will be in the mid-40s. And then Saturday, probably the nicest day of the weekend, Sunday's not looking so good. So there in the afternoon, near 40 degrees. Saturday, upper 40s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Cloudy skies for Sunday with your rain chances going up. Then as you look into the week, it's kind of gray. And also temperatures begin to go down for Wednesday and Thursday. So not the prettiest weather coming up.